Once upon a time in the project. wondering how I ended up like this. Well, maybe the best place to start is the beginning. You sure it won't be too much trouble for you to do the dishes? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Mary. I always love to help you out around the house a week before my birthday. Wash, wash, wash. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Hello, handsome. Hello, Swamp Thing! Swamp Thing! Ah! Oh! Uh, uh, hey, Muriel! You know, you might want to wait a minute or two before you... Oh! Oh, my God! Take your shower. Get it off me! Oh, get it off! Oh! Okay, okay, oh, look, try to stay calm, honey, stay calm. I gotta go outside and see if it's just our apartment or the whole building. So... Yep. It's the whole building. Next! Uh, yeah, look, I'm Thurgood Stubbs of the Hilton Jacobs Project, and I'm here to pick up a new master filter for our main water intake pipe. Oh, honey, y'all ain't got no clean water. Is that why you showered in malt liquor? Next! Hey, wait a minute, lady. We talking about water here. That's a basic human right, just Hunt like... allocates each project's one master water filter a year. And since you received yours only nine months ago, it is the position of the government that it is still working perfectly. What? This is outrageous. I'm going to go directly over your head. I demand an audience with the king. Mr. Stubbs, the HUD Board of Review is booked solid for the next eight weeks. Eight weeks? Oh, really? Well, tell you what, I'm going to just leave this ah! here until then. How about that? Okay, okay. You win. I'll buzz you right in. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. <laughs> Members of the review board, all I ask for today is a water filter for our projects. And what does this little part cost? 39 cents. That's right, just two bits, one-tenth of a dollar. Now, 39 cents may not buy much in your highfalutin world of $20 words and $10 suits, but for my people, it buys hope. Hope that our government respects us enough to treat us like human beings. That's not too much to ask for, is it? Because if it is too much to ask for, we'll just settle for some more cheese. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stubbs. The thanks are all yours, Your Grace. Well said, sir. I don't think any further deliberation is necessary. Gentlemen, next, 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 next. Very good. Next! Uh, can you believe that? What kind of verdict did you expect from an all-white jury? See, the man wants us to use his dirty water because he knows the clean brother gets the job. You really got one tune you play, don't you, Jimmy? Well, I'm not bathing in that junk. Hmm. That'll be the first time the water was filthy there before you got in, huh, St. James? <laughs> Kiss my ass, Mrs. Avery. Oh, big man. Hey, now, please, let's not attack each other. Remember who the common enemy is. HUD! We have got to figure out a way to have our voices heard and to get some clean water. Yeah! yeah. Ah, let's teach them HUD suckers to fool around with that Hilton Jacob. Yeah! yeah. I know we have a legitimate grievance, but let's maintain our composure and dignity before we get all fired up and... Muriel's right! Let's burn her down! 
down. Yeah, let's burn it down. Mary, you stay home. A hothead like you is only going to get us in trouble. That's what I'm saying. I'm strapped. I'm packing. I'm strapped. I'm ready. Oh. Okay, now everybody got some bricks. Yeah. All right, and everybody got a body. Yeah. You can count on me and Mrs. Jones. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, then, let's go and have us a riot that we can be proud of. Till you find one. All right, all right. I'm making arrangements to handle the situation right now. <laughs> She's shaking in our booth. <laughs> well, I guess the doctor's office ain't the only place where Thirty Good Stubs gets positive results. She gonna give us that filter just as soon as she put on her gas mask. <laughs> gas mask. <laughs> what the? She got gas, everybody! She got gas, everybody! Hold your breath, it's gas! Gas! Must hold breath! Maybe you shouldn't talk. Get them out of here. The choking gas was everywhere, filling my lung. It looked like your humble narrator was about to meet his pitiful end, when suddenly I saw them. They lied to us. And why? Because a 39 cent pot was worth much more to them than human lives. It was then that I realized that violence was not the answer. Robbery was. And then, like a public school, everything went black. I don't know, fellas. You're talking about breaking into a federal building. Walter, you don't understand. We'd be robbing her, stealing from the bitch to get to the poor. Uh, I don't know. Come on, Walter, we need that water. B.B. and I haven't had a bath in three days. And if this goes on much longer, I'll miss mine, too. You gotta help us, Walter. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Guess it's time to call in the A-Team. <laughs> This is the A team. Uh, the A team had a previous engagement. The B team? Let's just say they're in the first half of the alphabet and leave it at that. Gentlemen, say hello to Mrs. Avery, a second story man blessed with the agility of a spider. I'm double jointed. <laughs> but I got arthritis in both. Sanchez, AKA. The Gadget Man. Why, what does that thing do? It takes the place of my vocal cords and it makes it possible for me to speak. Ooh. Very good. You all know Buster. Hey, What's up, Buster? Buster? What's up? Yeah, like <laughs> yeah we're all glad to have Buster along, but um, <clears throat> what the hell is he doing here? I'm the expert cracksman. You're a safe cracker? I wouldn't call it safe. Okay, now before we go any further, let's review our code names. Buster, you be Mr. White. Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. High Yellow. Very good. Thurgood? 
Gentlemen, this is our objective, HUD. It's not gonna be easy, but if you do what I say, we can all come back alive. At precisely 9 p.m., HUD closes for the evening. At precisely 9.04, the last employee takes a fax machine and leaves. That's when we make our move. Uniformity is the key, so it's essential that you all dress alike so no one can be identified. Okay, let's move out. At 9.06, we reach the electrified fence surrounding HUD. Okay, Smokey, you're up. Show them why they call you the electrical whiz. Good job, Smokey. The pleasure was all mine. At exactly 9.09, .09, you will arrive at the back entrance to HUD. At 9.09 .09 and 10 seconds, the guard makes his rounds. Check your watches then, because we'll only have eight hours until he awakens from his drunken stupor. And we're home free, right? I'm afraid not. If any of these laser beams are tripped, a diabolical series of excruciating and highly improbable booby traps will be triggered. Oh, well, just leave it to me. I didn't escape the Cook County woman's work farm six times for nothing. But whatever you do, don't step on the black tiles. They're booby trapped. You gold black tiles. Sanchez. Easy as giving a ride to a runaway. Here's our water filter. Let's get out of here. Let's snatch two. Really stick it to him, right, Super? Super? Is that what I think it is? You better believe it. 100% pure grade A white. Toilet paper. Holy shit. It's primo stuff, all right. A street value of $1.89, easy. It's beautiful. Say, uh, wh what is this stuff anyway? It's ours. The line forms here. Wait, shouldn't we stop and think about this before we do something rash? It's the rash what's making me take it. Hey, we got every right to steal this. Taking the water filter was one thing, but this is just pure greed. We don't need this stuff. We're doing just fine with our phone books and Pizza Hut flyers. Do we really want to think this low? Hmm. I do. I do. I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, what the hell? You only suffer through life once. Oh, oh give me some of this toilet paper. Carry on with some of that. Oh, give me one more thing. I can't wait to use mine. I'm gonna run right home and cut myself shaving. Mm -mm, not me. 
I'm going to bury it in a hole so nobody can steal it. This is one sweet job to retire on. I'm sure going to miss working with you guys. You don't be a stranger, Buster. We want to watch that new son of yours grow up. When we get home, we're going to have one hell of a celebration. Well, why should we wait till we get home? <laughs> Very good. Don't pick that up. Why? What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That was a close one. But we're not out of the woods yet. I'm going back for Buster. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. Let it go. Listen to me. We'll be home free. Listen. If we keep our heads, and we're going to split up, and we're going to go our separate ways, and we're going to act natural. And nobody do anything to call attention to yourself. We'll all meet back at the projects. By the next morning, I had the new water filter installed and could go back to business as usual. Think fast, Juicy! Oh. <laughs> yep, life was looking up. Or was it? In response to last night's daring raid on HUD, police are harassing black men all over the city. Authorities are confident they will soon arrest the perpetrators. Or at least somebody who's not where they're supposed to be. Oh, goody, this is horrible. Did you see any suspicious people when you picked up the water filter last night? Uh, just Buster. Citizens are asked to call the police if they see anyone resembling these composite sketches <gasps> of the gang. Uh, Mary, you, you look lovely today. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the gang's leader. Uh What was that? Just a gunshot. Now relax, Thurgood. My crew is professional. They're not gonna talk. Hell, most of them can barely write. But my picture was on TV, Walter. What if they got something else on me, like my DNA? Then we hire Mr. Johnny and book a room for the victory party. I'm scared, Walter. I am too pretty for jail. Thurgood, calm down. There's not a single shred of evidence connecting you to this crime. <laughs> Sanchez, what the hell are you doing? Finally, I have something Castro doesn't have. Give it a liberation. Sanchez, put that away before you get us all arrested. Yeah! Ain't you got no sense, Ricky Retardo? <laughs> That's right. It's a toilet paper doggy sweater. I'm old. I don't have to explain myself. Give me that! Look, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I do not intend to spend my golden year rotting in the prison. From now on, this TP has got to be on the DL. You use it strictly on a need-to-white basis. You understand me? Hey, looking good, Superfly. confession to make. So I told her everything. Our simple plan to get a water filter turned into a cesspool of madness that was clogged with greed. I needed a plunger big enough to set things right. That plunger was Muriel. <clears throat> Muriel, you're the only sane one left and I need your help. What could possibly make you do such a thing? I don't know, Muriel. 
I was just mad at them for not giving us anything. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I was weak. Don't look at me. <laughs> Is that the stolen paper? Oh. Oh, oh my. It's oh, so smooth and cotton is soft. Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's like a pillow from heaven. I would definitely choose that over the leading brand. Muriel, what are you saying? We can't keep this. Don't you want me to have nice things? Woman, get a hold of yourself. That did it. If Muriel could be seduced by the soft side, I knew it wouldn't be long before our secret was out and I'd be doing a hard time. I had two options. One, turn myself in and face the consequences. Or two, destroy all the evidence. It would be painful and I knew it might take all day, but I knew that I had to do number two. <laughs> What a relief. I feel 10 pounds lighter, but covering up the rest of this paper trail wouldn't be so easy. rid of it. I realized that burning that toilet paper from hell would be my fastest way to salvation. Doing something? Super? I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. I'm not going to county jail, that's what. Then I guess you'll be going to county hospital. Kill him! Uh, how can you do this? I'm your friend. Leave him alone! Muriel, thank God you're here. Please, don't hurt Goody. He can be persuaded in other ways. <gasps> Not you, too. Don't fight it, Thurgood. It'll be much easier if you just join us. The lady's smart, Thurgood. Now you be smart, too. Just give us the white cloud, and nobody gets hurt but you. Just look at you. Look at all of you. You're pathetic. You should be ashamed, because you was this close to taking the life of a fellow man. Not for honor, and not for freedom. Not even for sneakers. You was going to commit murder. This. He's got our toilet paper. Kill it! This is the federal government. You are surrounded. Place the evidence one at a time on the bar. So it unspools frontwards. I repeat, frontwards. Sorry, but you're a little late, according to my watch. It's TP time. This is where we came in, wasn't it? Pretty exciting, huh? Up until the last part. <laughs> Things had a strange way of working out. No sooner had I regained consciousness than I had a visitor. Mr. Stubbs, I'm Alfred Sauer, chairman of the HUD Board of Review. Look, uh, I'm sorry about the toilet paper, you know, I... No, it is I who am sorry. Sorry for the behavior of my agency that drove you to such insane actions. Well, oh, here, let me help you with that. Oh. 
This entire incident uh, and the public embarrassment it's caused has made me realize that HUD's 35-year policy of depriving people in the projects of their basic human necessities, while admirable in theory, was perhaps a bit short-sighted, not to mention illegal. Yeah, it was a real horror show. Now how about some of them lima beans? Of course. And to thank you for not speaking to the press for seeking damages against us, we are going to upgrade your service. From now on, instead of getting one master water filter a year, your building will get two every 36 months. All right, now you're talking. <laughs> So it all ended happily, my brothers, and I drifted back to sleep to the sounds of my beloved Luther Van.